Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life RP. Now today I have a very big project on my hands. You see, I want to do a little house renovation and I want to make a huge underground bunker. Now I want to build this to house one very specific thing. You see, Justin has told me he might know where a money printer could be. And of course, we want it. And since we still have a few days before our Viper meeting thing, I figured that I'd help him out with it. Now I don't have the exact details, but he does want to meet me in the city. So I'm going to head over there now. And while I do, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Thanks to Drake and Sang Online for sponsoring this video. Drake and Sang Online is an awesome free-to-play MMO available on Steam with millions of players and over 10 years of active development. You play as one of four unique classes and are tasked with uncovering the mysteries of Draconia by yourself or with friends. There are thousands of weapons, charms and items you can use to build out your character and fight enemies in the tons of quests that Drake and Sang has to offer. And with hundreds of hours worth of gameplay, you can hop into PvP arenas to battle other players, or go into dungeons to fight bosses and complete challenges. Their newest update, Realm of the Fire Lord, is the biggest update in the history of Drake and Sang Online, with tons of new quests, maps, monsters, skills, and more. So why not download Drake and Sang Online today for free using my link in the description. Okay, so tell me all about it. So this man spews money. I don't know what it is. Every time I go to his place, there's a nice car, nice pair of shoes, big fluffy jacket hanging up in the coat hanger. You know, those kind of people where money just is not a problem. So what, you just do like deals with this guy? He is one of the people that I sell to. Okay, okay. So, I mean, I asked him, you know, what, what is, how does he make his money? And, well, apparently he makes it the same way the government makes it. Oh, is that so? It's a money printing machine. Okay. Quite literally as well. So, we want to get our hands on it then. Oh, most definitely I want to get my hands on it. I mean, you know where he lives, right? Yeah, so, it, well, he lives in Belmont, but of course this is, you know, this is a man of wealth. So, it's a start. I don't know how many houses he has, but that's a place we can start looking. Okay, well, I guess for a start, we can definitely go check out his house we'll head to belmont we'll see what we can do and hey if we can get in there get a printer <laughs> that would be amazing <laughs> Easy. what are we going now if you think it's a good idea to yeah i can go now mate i don't even get to finish my donut of course uh, why don't you get get one for the road get one for the road go on i'll wait here yeah exactly i'm going to get one for the road you know me <laughs> i got them you let's got your go. donuts all right let's go let's go which one are we looking at it is that lovely little greenhouse over there. Uh, green? Yeah, is that not green? Oh wait, it's the blue light filter I have on. You know which house I'm pointing at, right? What color the, is it? The yellow one? What, that big one on the corner? Yeah, so it's that yellow house on the corner with a little tiny garage that's on the right side of it. Got it, got it. Um, it looks like somebody's home though, Justin. That would be him. This might be a problem then, I guess. We can't just go in there willy-nilly. He can't knock on his door and be like, excuse me, sir, where do you keep your money printer? It doesn't look like he has much in his house. I can't really tell from here. He actually has quite a lot. We're just out of render distance. All right, okay, okay. What I'm thinking is we could probably stay here for a while. Just wait for him to leave. And then, oh. Uh, well, speaking of leaving, <laughs> off he goes. Ooh, he going? it could be in his garage. Which might be significantly harder to break into, actually. How so? Oh, oh, it's definitely not in his garage. That is a car. Okay. Ah, uh, deal breaker. Okay, he's leaving, yeah. Going for a Sunday drive. This might be our opportunity. Okay, I'm down. There you are. There we go. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Let's try and do this as fast as possible, okay? <laughs> I don't know where he's gone or how long he's gone for, so. Probably gone to his bar in town. Oh, he's got a bar, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, he has a bar in town, so he could be there all night, which is actually advantageous. That would be very good, yeah. It is Saturday night, so he will be busy, so... Let's have a look. Oh, okay, uh, he's got some stuff in here. Um, okay, there is people around here, so let's not try and look suspicious. We could probably break in through the back. Back window, maybe? Uh, yeah, we can. Okay. Hmm, it's an interesting house. I guess... I guess we're doing this. Alright, let's go. There shouldn't be anyone home. I don't know if he's got friends. Uh, I hope not. There's a guy outside. Oh, yeah. There's a guy outside. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean? He's just walking past. All okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, that, that could have gone wrong. Dude, check out this guy's gym. Oh damn, this guy works out, okay. Now, if you were a money printer, Justin, 
Where on earth would you be? That is my question. This is a nice house, you know. I, I can definitely uh, let me see where the money comes from here. Oh, oh dear, this is work. this really this is the battle station. Come on. Oh man, this is not a gamer setup if I've seen one, bro. This is an all-in-one PC. He don't even have room for a full-size graphics card in this thing. Nah, he's got those. He's got those like RDNA like one graphics. Bro. <laughs> and then this is just an empty shelf, dude. There's no printer here. There's no other room, right? And his garage is empty, bro. There's literally nothing here. There's no <gasps> money printer. There's no nothing. Dude, check this out. There's you nothing in better here. Better found it. Why would you tease me like that? Why, why would you do that? <laughs> okay, so we've just kind of broken in here for nothing. I think we kind of need a plan B. If he doesn't have it in his house, he'll definitely have it at a separate location, of course. How about we patch up this window, wait for him to come back, and then we just follow him to wherever he goes. And eventually, I'm sure he'll lead us to the printer. Oh, he's not coming back, right? No. Okay, no, good. Not right, we just need to get into position and just wait for him to get back. That's all we need to do. Oh, he's moving. He's just got He's his moving. Oh, finally. All right. Mate, he's moving. All right, let me get to you. Okay, right, let's go. I'm here. As discreetly as possible. Let's get going. Okay, there's our guy. Okay. Now, hopefully, he's going to lead us to this money printer. Okay, making a little trip through the city. Hopefully, this isn't where he keeps the printer, because that'll be really hard to get without attracting attention. He's pulling into the mall? Interesting. Maybe he's a bit, bit of late night shopping. This might be a long night, just I can't lie to you. I'm sure he's here just for some milk. He knows what you look like, right? So let's keep a distance. Not if I put on a fake mustache now. <laughs> Do you have one of them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in the gun store, dude. I think he's I think he's splashing some cash and some weapons, eh? Okay, he's leaving. Uh, he's got some weapons in his hands as well, by the looks of it. Okay, he's uh, he's buying clothing now. And of course, he's at Selected Works, the fanciest clothing store in town. A new suit, perhaps? I feel like this is just a drop in the bucket. This is like a Tuesday afternoon. For oh, yeah, time. for sure, for sure. Oh, he's bought, he literally has bought a new suit. Okay, yeah, he's leaving. Okay, he just came in for guns and a suit. A classic combo. There was no money printer there, so... Uh, dear, dear. I guess we'll see where he goes next. That's a dead end down there. That's just mansions. Ooh, I think this could be one of his other houses. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm going to sling the car here. I'm just going to pack it up. Okay. We can't just walk up to the house. No, 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 come back, come back, come back. We can, in fact, to be fair, we'll go around. Okay, yeah, no, no, we'll go around because it's the first house. We can just kind of walk around here, right? And it probably won't notice us. Okay. Let's see if we can see anything. All right, Manuel, are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I just need to go get some money. You can come with me if you want. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, come on. Money? Right. This might be it, Justin. Oh, they're leaving already. They're, they're yeah. going to go to the money right now. We can't lose them. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. We're a bit behind them. Traffic, but, you know. Uh, we're not behind at all, then. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Come mate, on. Mate, mate, Pretend you're a BMW driver. Just go around. <laughs> Where did they go? They turned left. Okay. Heading towards Ferndale? I don't know. Can't quite tell. That would be mightily convenient near the office. Yeah, true. Okay, we should be pretty clear. Oh, this yellow car is so slow, dude. Uh, oh. They're turning into the uh -huh. garages by the looks of it. Oh, dear. oh, nice job. Oh, dude, come on. Are you serious? What is happening? Oh, bro, come on. Mate. Come on. What is happening, boys? What's a little bit of car trouble. A little bit, yeah, just a little bit. Um, Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Should, shouldn't be too long. Just okay, go. okay. I guess I guess we can we can back up. Well, I can tell you right now, we're getting a fantastic advertisement for the new plane shoes. Do you guys need a car jack or something? We're good. I think, it should, I think we're good. Okay. Oh, what is going oh, on? Oh dear. Oh, they they did it. Oh, they've left. No, it's got to be in here. It's got to be in here. They literally said they were going to get some money first, and they've just stopped off at these garages. The problem is, which one is it? Because we literally have no idea of knowing. It could be any single one of these. I don't even know how we're going to tell which one it is. We can't just break into every single person's garage here. I mean, what about noise? Just put our ear, you know, to the Oh, to be fair, 
That is that is right. What does a money printer sound like? I actually don't know. You've had one before. It's you? just like a it's just like a hum. It's like a humming sound. But the ah. problem is, there's so many cars out there, dude. I can't really hear what's happening. Uh, how does that make noise? Mm. Let me. Uh, what's this? Have you done this side already? I'm doing it now. Uh, <gasps> on this one? Wait. What? Shh, shh, shh. One sec. It's this one. It is this one. Yeah, 100%. The question is, how are we breaking down this door? There's no glass here. We can't just, you know, we can't exactly use explosives though, because it'll, you know, attract too much attention. I have an idea, okay? Mm -hmm. I seem to make a quick phone call. Here he is, our knight in shining armor. Hello there. Hey, Liz, how's it going? It's going pretty good. How about you? Not too bad, not too bad. Have you, uh, have you got it? I got it. I had to go through a heck and back, but I did in fact get it. Dude, thank you so much. I literally, I need to use it for two seconds and you can go stick it back. It'll be like it was never gone, okay? No problem. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It did nothing. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be strong. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Dude. That's a lot more than just a few. It's not just one printer. It's <laughs> however many this is. Are you kidding me? Oh, how are we going to fit this in your car? Yeah, we might need your truck after all. Dude, if they come back at any point, we're screwed. We need to Ooh. act fast. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to take some of this money and I'm just going to like give it to Lays for the troubles. There you go. Always happy to help. And for the troubles as well. Thank you. I have a good one and good luck with it. Thank you so much. I'll see you later, my man. Okay, this uh, is quite literally the jackpot. This is insane. Uh, right. I guess we'll just start dismantling them, right? I guess we'll just leave the, the spare parts and stuff. If you want to grab that money, you can do, but... Oh, um, no, we should not leave the spare parts behind. <laughs> Let's be let's be real with ourselves here. These okay. things are not going to fix themselves. Oh yeah, we decided we're gonna uh, take my truck instead of Justin's as well now because um, it's just bigger and we can fit it all in one. As you can see, it fits all the printers. The size doesn't matter. So yeah, Justin uh, will be uh, driving my car. Please take good care of it. What's that? Smash it and wrap it around a telephone pole? Gotcha. That is exactly what I said, yeah. We should definitely hurry up though because I don't know if any of these guys are coming back or whatever. Um, yeah, we'll just get this to mine. Why not? Yep, let's go. Well, that was like the easiest heist I think we've ever done. No conflicts, no problem. Easy peasy. How fast does this thing go? It does actually go really fast. <laughs> oh my god, it does. It does, doesn't it? It's really, really fast. Well, uh, I guess my garage is going to be uh, the temporary place to print money now, I suppose. You did load all the parts. I did, right? yeah. I just need to put them in. Don't worry, don't worry. I was going to say, I was like, hmm, these are not complete. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea how these things work. I, I do have an idea. You just need a few ingredients. Um, I'm going to get it all set up. How are you getting home? Because you don't... Ah, uh, well, I mean, of course, I will just borrow the pride and joy for, you know. <laughs> Absolutely not, Justin. Absolutely not. I tell you what, I'll let you borrow one of my cars. It's fine. I'll come get it. But just to, please don't get into trouble. All right. I'm going to take this home. You want to take this one? All right. All right. Awesome. See you later, buddy. Cheers, buddy. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we now have like, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight money printers. This is absolutely insane. I set off here with the goal of getting one. And of course, today I also said I'd be building an underground bunker to actually house these printers. So I need to go buy some concrete. Okay, I've got all the concrete here and I've actually hired these guys to do the digging for me just because I need to go and get some materials for the money printers. Now, I don't think they're actually allowed to use their construction tools for things like this, you know, work that isn't construction, but I'll be paying them well. But I need to make sure all the doors are closed because I don't want them actually going in there. See, it's not. All right, boys, are you guys ready to get digging? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'll leave the front door open so you guys can go in and out. You know where the tunnel's going to be in the armory, of course. And I'll see you guys when I get back. All right, so while those guys start the construction, I'm going to fly all the way over to the oil rig because in order for these printers to work, you actually need oil. And that is like the only place where you can get them. Okay, actually, it looks kind of quiet. That's good because I know a lot of people come here for oil. See, I'm getting better at flying this thing. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad, you know? Yeah, it looks like we have the oil rig all to ourselves, which means we can take all of this oil. This is going to be amazing. Now, I do have my crowbar, which means I can just take oil out of the drum. Okay, my inventory is pretty full with oil already. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think... Oh. Oh, uh, oh, they're coming here by the looks of it. Oh, are they? oh yeah, they are. Uh, okay, I don't really like the look of them. I'm just going to get out of here. But there is one more stop that we need to go to before we can go back home. And that is actually to Alistair's place. Oh, what just happened? 
Whoa. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I think my wheels got stuck in the ground somehow. Um, okay, but as I was saying, we actually need to go to Alistair's place because the second thing you need for money printers is chemicals. And I don't really fancy going and harvesting a bunch of chemicals right now. And I know Alistair has a ton from some previous deals he's been doing. So I'm just going to go buy them off him. Okay, here we go. Perfect again. Hi, boys. Is Alistair in? Yes, sir. He's just inside in his bedroom. Oh, cool. Thank you. Alistair, my boy, are you up here? Alistair, are you here? There you are. Alex, what a welcome surprise. Hey, it's, it's been it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? How's it going? This is exactly what I came for, actually. You've got them all all set up and ready. Chemicals, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much did you want for them? Let's say about thirty. You want thirty k? Okay. You know what, well, Alistair? Just just keep the change. It's fine. I'll take it. I will be in excess yeah. of money very soon, so don't worry. I wonder why that would be. Mm -hmm. Yep, nothing to do with these chemicals. Okay, well, thank you so much for the uh, the chemicals and stuff, my friend. I'll be in touch in a, in a few days no for the uh, whole Viper meeting thing. But yeah, until then, I'll see you soon, my friend. Okay, here we go. Now, the bulldozer actually seems to be gone, and there's no hole, but... I can hear them, okay. So it sounds like they're still digging under there. Let me go see what they've actually done here, what progress has been made. So we've removed the whole Prodef display and we have a bunch of ladders going down here. This is interesting. Let's see what's, uh... Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> Hiya, boys. On, you have made some insane progress. Look at this. Yeah, we're just finishing up some parts here, you know. How, how did you get a bulldozer down here? <laughs> I'll show you, come over here. We got this little tunnel. Oh story. my god. Oh, no way. This is insane. This is sick. Took a bit of work, but... How much great. money do you guys want for this? Because this is a huge build. Uh, around a mil would be good. You want a million? I can, I, can, I can give you a million. Hold on. You just wait right there. You just wait right there. Have you got pockets big enough? All right, let's hope so. You know, a million dollars is a lot of money, but when you see what this bunker is about to become, that is a good price. Okay, my friend, I have your million here. There you go, my friend. All right, well, I guess I'll leave you guys to yeah. uh, finish this up. But thank you ever so much. Okay, so with the concrete I got earlier, I think I'm going to start building the enclosure for this bunker. So I've already laid down the framework. I just need to turn this into concrete. And the other ones. Okie dokie. Okay, now it's time for the walls. I think I'm going to have a door here and I might have another one over there, actually. I'm not too sure yet. So here we go. Okay, we're not looking too bad, but this will definitely take a while. So I think I've got a long night ahead of me. <laughs> All right, boys, I have done a little bit of mining off camera and the bunker is now finally complete. So let me give you a tour of my ultimate underground bunker. So of course we have a little hatch here and the ladders, which you've seen go all the way down to this little room here. I've decided to add a couple doors onto here. Now this first room is just for storage. The reason it's here is because I was gonna expand this whole room into something even bigger. But now that I'm looking at it, I think we can move those money printers down here and this would be the perfect place for them. Okay, here we go. We've got all the money printers down here. I just have to fill them all up with ingredients. Okay, we've got the paper in, the oil and the chemicals. And we go on here. And start. And there we go. We are printing money, my friends. And hopefully this is so far underground that the cops won't even hear it, which means we don't really have a risk of being caught. Okay, I have all these printers running now and they're all printing money. This is absolutely insane. I can't believe I own this entire money printer farm. Of course, I am sharing it with Justin, but this is crazy. Now, this next room down here looks pretty normal. I have moved the logo down here as well, but this room is pretty special. Let me show you. That is right, we have secret armories. You know it wouldn't be a Nilex bunker without some secret armories. And this is where I'm storing all my super rare, super expensive stuff. So I've got my huge backpacks up there. I've got my golden weapons, my pro def armor, of course. And just a few of the things that I've picked up over the various heights I've done. Of course, we have a secret stash of money just in case you never know when you're going to need it. And then just general weapons here. I know I still have some stuff upstairs, but just in case anything happens, I've got more than enough down here. And then if we go down even further, we have parking because of course as you saw we have a little tunnel leading out there so we've got some nice decorative bits but then we have an entire underground car park which i can put all my cars into and it leads right out there so why don't i go grab all my cars and move them all into here so all i need to do is open this gate here get in my car and drive in 
And then, of course, come around this corner and I can just leave my cars right here, safe and secure, no problem. Okay, this is going to be a fun one. Here we go. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't try that. <laughs> I literally flew. <laughs> and look at that. I have a full underground car park filled with all my cars. They are safe and secure. And I thought I had a lot of cars, but I can even add more here. Well, I am super, super proud of this place. I think it has turned out amazing and I can't wait to see how it evolves in the future. I think this will be a great place for like the armory, heist planning and everything else in between. But for now, I think I am going to end the episode here. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like rating and also get subscribed if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.